All right, here we have an alternator, starter, and generator test stand. Uh, this unit is designed to, to test starters, generators, uh, and alternators um, by putting a load on the alternators and generators and free running the starters. Uh, it can be used for automotive type alternators and generators or some aircraft units as well. Um, here's the main control area on the front and then here is where the test units are connected, the unit under test, the alternator uh, or generator. So here's the, the drive pulley which is driven by this large uh, Reeves Berry drive. Uh, so the Berry drive is a, a dual head unit. Um, there's a high speed, high speed head that goes from 1800 to 11,000 RPM. And the low speed head <clears throat> goes from 800 to 4800 RPM. So you just swing this plate uh, from the low speed head over here to engage it with the, the high speed shaft if you wanted to use that option. Um, so it, it comes with a few different brackets uh, to mount uh, alternators. Uh, because this was originally used for larger military type generators. Um, we just made this bracket here to hold this GM one wire alternator just to for simplicity of hooking up just for the test here um, and obviously this is a belt uh, belt drive setup. Uh, there are situations that for the larger test uh, generators you could direct mount them uh, to the shaft here with a um, a coupler or plate that you would have to machine uh, to meet up to your device. And up here is just some accessories, different pulleys uh, and, and brackets for connecting different alternators and generators. Uh, here's the speed control for the very drive. Here is uh, the battery charger timer, uh, the battery charge circuit increase knob, and the variable DC power supply uh, knob. And the battery, the batteries go down here. So we have one battery in it because we're testing uh, a 12 volt alternator. So you have multiple um, gauge and other controls. Um, this is one of the most important ones. Um, this is the, um, the DC amp meter. So when you put a load on the alternator with the load bank, um, you check to see how many amps you're drawing here. and um, it's uh, just a multiplication switch, so we have it on times three, so whatever comes up here, um, if it goes up to 10, it'd be 30 amps, you know, 5, 15 amps. Um, here is the, the field current DC meter uh, to monitor the field current. Um, and then here's the, the DC voltmeter. Um, so there's this meter can be used to monitor a few different things. Um, so over here you can monitor the battery. Here you uh, the VAR is the variable uh, power supply. Um, the RECT or Gen that's basically the alternator or generator output. And EXT is external 
um, which would be whatever you would plug into these uh, banana clip plugs here. Here's the, the tachometer. Um, so it's just simply the, the RPM um, that the very drive is going. Um, if you have it selected direct drive, um, it's just whichever range the high or low head you're on. So we have it hooked up to the low head, so we're going to be looking at the, um, the lower one. Um, but the alternator is a smaller pulley, so you can calibrate it uh, if you switched it to calibrate pulley, and then you can turn this knob to get an exact reading. But we'll just look at the direct drive for right now. And then the, the AC options, if you're doing a, 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 an alternator um, <clears throat> without a built-in um, inverter in it. So we're not, we're not going to be using that here for a little test. Uh, here is the, the load bank. Um, and then so you flip on one by one um, the load bank heaters. So here's the, the big one. We're using the um, the 12 volt or the lower voltage um, scale here. So 15 volts. So this would flip on 50 amp load and then you could put two of them for 100. Um, and here would be 25. And then it goes down to smaller loads. Here's 12 and a half. And if you use this one it's 0 to 12 and a half amps, and you can vary that with the, the variable, um, the variac knob right here. Um, the battery selector circuit, we have one battery in it, so we're only going to be using the 12 volt. Um, and then here is some of the field um, controlling circuitry here. So there are many different ways to to use this machine and we're just going to do a real quick test here on a one wire alternator so it's a real quick easy hookup um, we're actually using um, you know the these cables here right to G plus and G minus and then here's the field wire uh, for flashing the field so I'll just do a quick test here we'll turn on the the main drive and then we'll turn on power uh, to the field and then the alternator will start generating and then we turn the power off to the field um, and then we can start flipping the load on and off. So okay, we'll go ahead and turn this on.
So there you have it. It's a, it's an older unit, but um, you know, with the with the very drive, um, it can it can make a lot of a lot of torque, and um, you know, it's big nice mounting area to mount all different types of bracketry to, uh, for connecting all different sorts of alternators, generators, and even some aircraft starter generators.